Will is a blue collar kid. His mom died when he was little, and his dad is kind of a drunk and had him go to the, the bar outside the park. So he's kind of had to raise himself. He's, he's rough around the edges, and he's kind of a hothead, likes to get in fights, but all of that comes from a really genuinely good place, because he's the best friend you'll ever have, and if there's one person that he's close to and has her back, it's Lucy. So, I mean, that's that's really his rock, emotionally. Now, is, is, he, is Will's relationship with his dad and Lucy's relationship with his mom something that bomb, bonded each other? Well, the relationship of them, I mean, they're both, they both have single parents. They both only have one of their parents, and that's something that, yeah, that's a great question, because no yeah. one's asked me that yet. I was really trying to go for something. Did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's one of the major things that they, they definitely wanted us. It's like, we both lost or don't know our parents, really. Um, and so, you know, they, they, they've been able to relate it with that, on a level that someone like Will and Harper just have. Also, they're both from the Brick, which is like a really, like, socioeconomically, a really different background than Dazzle. I don't know if you know, but like, the town is happy yeah. to split between the Brick and Dazzle. And, uh, and Harper, Will's girlfriend of three years now from high school, just moved to Dazzle. So she's really coming into our own in that environment. And people are changing, and it's, it's tough to deal with. Now, does Harper moving to Dazzle change their relationship and make him feel like she might be part of the enemy now, yeah, or something like that? I mean, to a certain extent, you're asking great questions. To a certain extent, yeah, I mean, he, like any relationship in high school, right, you ultimately find around junior year, if you've been dating for three years, are we really the same people that we were coming into this relationship? And with her having moved and her ha trying to, like, fit in with that new crowd, she's not. And Will is very much the same guy. You know, so that's what keeps him sane, is being that same person and staying in the park and, you know, feeling that security. Well, does Will support the fact that Lucy would like to go off and do other things? Will loves Lucy as a friend, mm -hmm. um, dearly. And so he, yeah, he supports whatever she, he wants her to be happy, but no. Okay. No, he doesn't want her to leave, man. He, that's like, that's his rock, that's all he's got. And it get, kinda, it's gonna tap into a lot of separation anxiety with him and his mom. Now, there was a big question in the pilot that was dropped when Elena told Lucy about her history with Mr. Chandler, Ian's dad. Is there any possibility that Lucy's mother ever hung out with Will's father in the same way? I mean, there's always a possibility. <laughs> I would say I would say that's unlikely. Okay. There's always a possibility. Okay. That would mean uh, Elena's really getting around. <laughs> <laughs> She's not that kind of girl either. She just made some poor mistakes as a young girl. What does Will think of Ian? Hates him. Hate, I hate the whole Chandler family from the get-go. Because look at it from his perspective of like, this park is my life, right? You know, I've, I've been working here for a long time and this is this is my rock. And I know this park better than anyone. Every tunnel I know how to get around, I know how it works like clockwork. And these kids come in and act like, oh, daddy owns the park, so I get to call the shots now. And I hate that. Who are, who are you guys to tell me what to do? I know this place better than you. And that'll play a lot with between uh, Ryan and my character. For those who haven't seen the show, what does Will do at the park? Will works in the costume department. Okay. The first episodes. Okay. Cool. So, is would is there any part of Will that would like to be playing the prince? I think Will would love to be playing certain people's prince, but I don't think Will is the kind of guy who wants to be the face on stage. He just doesn't. He doesn't look at himself that way, and he doesn't. He doesn't need that kind of attention. Now, you, you've painted Will as just a really nice guy. Does he have a dark side or any selfishness to him at all? Yeah, well, he's got... I think everyone has selfishness. Um, I wouldn't be doing my job well if, I, if he didn't have <laughs> selfishness. But he, uh, he's a really nice guy, but he's a, he's a diamond in the rough. I mean, the kid is... He's hot-headed. He, he likes to fight. He likes to push people's buttons. And anyone that messes with him, he'll push you back harder. You know, he doesn't take he doesn't take crap from anybody, and he, he lets you know if you're pissing him off. He's a, you know, he's a he's a rough kid, but he's he certainly is a good-hearted person. I mean, like you got that right. He's he's there for his friends, and I think that that's a good example of someone that's a good person. Is there any possibility that we might see a flashback to when everybody was children? There's a possibility. <laughs> There. Now, when you originally read the script, what did you make of it, and what did you make of that twist at the very end of the pilot script? Um, when I first read the script, well, the pilot changed oh. when uh, we originally shot the pilot to when the series got picked up. So, but when I first read the new pilot, I was just very excited. I'm excited that they, because what they do is they really, the writers, Ben Epstein, who's 
a genius and talented and wonderful and kind of like our father on this show. He really sets up the emotional tone of the show in the first episode. Where, I mean, those kind of twists, it's a crazy twist, those kind of twists will keep happening. And that, in that sense, it's kind of got a soapy element to it. And like, the show keeps you entertained throughout the entire series while maintaining very human and genuine issues that go on. So hopefully they're demonstrated and acted generally as well. <laughs> and how does Will how is Will different from any character you've played before? Well Will is nothing like me. I mean <laughs> I grew up in Los Angeles. I'm from France, but I grew up in Los Angeles and I went to private schools my whole life. Um, I kind of forced myself to see outside that bubble before getting to play Will, which, which has helped me a lot. But he, uh, Will's just entirely different from Will. Will. Will is also like the first big role I've ever had, so it's kind of it's the first role that I really did an enormous amount of work on. Other things would be plays, and he's not very much like Brick from Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. <laughs> so, now, are you looking for? I'm oh, sorry. Are you looking forward to the big MTV fandom that's going to be following you, doing Twitter stuff and all that sort of thing? I'm, uh, I started a Twitter for Happy Land. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not huge on social media. I, it, is, it is a blessing and a privilege that I will have people that appreciate our work. And I, I will be honored to do whatever I can to make their experience as good as possible. And like that, to me, that's, that's just a privilege. Do you have a particular episode or sequence in the first season that really stands out to you? That you're allowed to talk episode about? Five. Episode 5 is what I've been telling people. Episode 5 is a Theodore and I, Ryan Robbins' character, have to face a horrible disaster that goes on in the park, and it's all on our shoulders to hide it and put it under the carpet. And it's very exciting. Does that make Will accept Theodore a bit more? As a person as an, and as a Chandler? I think that you will, you will find that that power struggle... He's always going to be my boss, because that's what he is. Yeah. But Theodore realizes that Will knows a lot about the park and knows a lot about how it runs and is probably going to be a really useful tool. Is, is there anything that Ian can do that would make Will be friends with him? Not be a douche. It might be tough. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see though, we'll see. And why should people tune in on is it Tuesday the 30th? Yeah, yes. uh, September 30th, 11 p.m., MTV. Yeah, and why should people tune in? Because it's going to be an incredibly entertaining show with a really great group of actors, and we've never seen anything like it.